Hey, this is YBR with BMG Drive, and today we're going to do a couple more of the requests you guys have for the crash test dummies. The first of which is really, really easy to do, and may break the game to some extent. Hopefully it doesn't, but it could. So first we need to get a dummy. There he is. Hi, dummy. And all we're going to do is just say, hello, sun gravity. And thankfully nothing bad happened. I was really worried something bad would happen. He's okay. Look, he's like, I'm fine, guys. Oh, gee, oh. Are you okay, dummy? Uh, okay, no, I'm not so fine, guys. Wait, I'm fine, guys. He's put his hands up. That's good. Oh, no. And that's why it's not so good. Eventually, he kind of glitches up like you just saw there. And, yeah, that's no good. Well, let's see what, happened, what he looks like. Oh, pfft, ouch. Don't fall on your face like that when you do it in slow-mo. So slow-mo, some gravity. What gives out first? His knees just give out. His knees are done. Then his spine gives out. Like, his spine is compressing. Then his spine breaks in half, then his everything is broken by this point, and it sucks to be him because he is just broken in 20 places at once. And that's what happens when you put a dummy in sun gravity. It's not a pleasant experience for him. What happens if you just... Look at that! Oh, he's falling forward. He is top heavy. That's funny. He, look at that. I, There's nothing touching him. There's no gravity, no wind, and this is just what he does. Those hand movements look creepy. Like, just watch his hands. It is creepy looking the way they're moving around. Because it's not something you could really do in real life the way they're moving. Like, they're just, they're like off their hinge, you see? Looks freaky. I don't know, that's weird, man. I'm staring at this way too hard. It's freaking me out. I mean, the fact that I haven't slept in 24 hours, over 24 hours, I should say, probably isn't helping. But that was freaking me out. Just keep splatting him. Don't freak me out. Who do you think you are freaking me out, huh? Huh? Who do you think you are? I'm going to blow you up, man. Don't you freak me out. Yeah, that's right. You get blown up. So that was one of the requests I was, uh, that was on my list of dummy requests. The next of which is what happens when the dummy goes for a swim. We'll find out. Just going to go way, 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 way over here. Say so here's the water and say so here's the dummy. And squish. Not much damage. Like squish. Oh, maybe a little bit, but not that much. Let's go higher. Way up here. I don't know how high, but it's high. It's so high, he's like, woo, doing a little arm dance. It's going to probably freak me out again. And, ooh. That probably breaks something in you if you're a real person, for sure. Uh, but he's okay, it looks like. He's like, I'm fine, I'm a dummy. You can't hurt a dummy. You know, the, the saying usually goes, an idiot can't catch a cold, but apparently an idiot can't get hurt either. So let's make him go higher. Let's get into the stratosphere a bit. You know, just a couple miles into the air, I don't know. Let's get him reset up. How are you going to dive into this thing? you going to do something amazing? Oh, he's going to do the face plant. Oh, he's gonna, oh what is he going to do? What kind of dive is this? Oh, he's going into the shallow area. That's not good. Well, I guess it's okay. Most of the impact was absorbed by the water. And his knees are busted up. Like, your feet should not do that ever. I know. I have feet. And that would be painful. Let's see if we could do it a little different. If we just, I don't know, just let it fall again. If it'll be different or not. I don't know if it will be. Get some slow-mo on it this time, like extra slow-mo. Extra slow-mo. Oh, I did it late. Oh, jeez. Oh, we can do it again. Who cares? Yeah, again, again. Dummy's like, yay. Look how excited he's like, yay. Let me do my, my, my little hand motions to curse you for life for doing this to me. Oh, goodness. He's going to miss the water. Oh, he just broke his hand. He just broke his hand. Like, in terms of if he, was, if he was an actual person, other parts would be broken too, but he specifically slapped his hand hard. Let me try to move him uh, to the left just a smidge, see if that helps. I mean, to the right, because he's hitting left, sorry. That was a two-time slow-mo. It didn't look like it, did it? All right, so he's hitting good. That's all I wanted to check. Now we can let him hit the water. He's like, yay, wee, cursing me. Like, he's like, doing some kind of curse gonna have bad dreams for next month or something right I don't know splat 
I know I went fast because I was hoping he would go in the shallow, or he was going the deep area, but he's going to the shallow. So I'm redoing it, hoping he lands in the deep area this time. If not, oh well. And it's an oh well. Okay, let's see what happens then. Arms hit, nothing really happens until he's actually underwater, and that's where the impact breaks his knees the wrong direction. Oh my goodness. And then he's dead. All right now, for comparison's sake, just because I think it'll be fun, what if he hits the sand? Hopefully this is the sand, and not the ground between it. Who knows? And let's see, how you gonna do, dummy? Splat! He kind of just disappears. He's like, I'm here. He's like, oh, it looks like a scary thing. And he looks all he looks better off. That sand is mysterious. It's like this mysterious pillow that just protects you from everything. It's just weird the way the sand works. And it's so laggy you really can't see what's happening. That's the other thing. Like if you try to watch it even a hundred times slow-mo, you end up just kinda lagging. So you see like he goes in there and then he just becomes a this smoke cloud. And then it lags up because there's just too much smoke even on like a reasonably good computer it does this. And then he appears he just kinda pops out and he's like, I'm fine. And it's all creepy. He's like, how did he do that? And I'm like, I don't know. But he did it. He's fine. He's totally fine. Alright, so now the next request we are gonna do is another fairly simple one. We're gonna go put the dummy here. And we're gonna need one more quote unquote vehicle. For this one, we're going to need a propane tank. So we're going to go grab our propane tank. And now we got to blow this thing up. With the dummy somehow. Well, I mean, I guess you don't... Oh, goody. Guess who crashed the game? YBR managed to crash the game again with his dummy. And his propane tank. So we're just going to respawn him because I I don't know. The game's just like, what are you doing? No, don't blow up the dummy with the propane tank. Stop it. And I'm like, I don't care what you told me to do, game. I bought you. Okay. Okay, that was weird. I thought I was the one who tells the game what to do, and now it's kind of telling me what to do, because it just crashed again. So, just just to make sure it's not something like with the map, or the, I'm going to just try changing everything up a bit, see if I can get it to work if I change things up. So instead of spawning the dummy, then the propane tank, we'll do it the opposite way around on a different map. See if it makes any difference at all. Otherwise, I guess the dummy wins, and the game tells me what to do. That doesn't feel right. I should be the one who tells the game what to do. It better not crash again. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go cry. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cry because it's so sad. All right, are you good? Are you good? Are you good? All right, I think it's okay now. All right, so let's just drop the dummy onto the propane tank if he'll hit it. Yeah. Oh, he missed. Well, he hit it, but he didn't blow it up. Hit it again, dummy. Oh, use your head. That's right. Use your head. I don't know if he'll have enough speed. There we go. Oh, my goodness. His body just went boom. I'm surprised he didn't just freeze the game right there. I mean, that exploded. To just Look at how high he's flying. He's flying higher in the air than when he started. Alright, full speed ahead. Look at that height. That is insane height. And then he goes splat. And let's just look at that guy. Wow. You can't even see his face anymore. His face just got exploded. We gotta do that again. <laughs> That's my reaction. I was like, we gotta do it. Oh, we blew up on the first hit. I did not expect that. Let's we'll see if we could do that again. No, oh, oh, don't mess with me, Crow Pain Tank. He's like, I didn't blow up. Just kidding, I'm blowing up. All right, I gotta be a little more patient than I'm being. Make sure if it's gonna blow up or not. It's like, oh, take this propane tank. And then he blows up, and then we're like, oh, dislocates my shoulder. And dislocates my everything. As in, it's now located, not connected to my body, probably dislocations. Uh, but that's okay. Oh, well, that actually didn't hit nearly as hard as the other one but look at his feet they pointed in opposite directions that's never a good sign at all 
Like, you, no, that, your feet should not be doing stuff like that. That is bad. Same with your back. You shouldn't have your back sticking out. Like, no, that's bad stuff. Bad, 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 bad stuff. Oh, he just, oh, he just froze, he just, whoa. He just broke physics. So that's what happens when you drop a dummy on a propane tank. Things go boom. I don't know what you expected, man. Things go boom no matter what when you got a propane tank. It's like, propane tank, something's going to blow up. And in this case, it's the dummy. He gets blown up. So let's see, what else was there I was going to do? There's one more thing. Uh, I don't remember now. Let me check my list. Don't worry, I remembered what it was. What we're going to do is, well, I don't know if it'll work. We just put a propane tank on his butt. Uh, we're going to see what happens when we put a dummy in the blades of a helicopter, which I don't think will actually do anything, so don't get your hopes up. But we're going to make sure that it doesn't actually do anything real quick. So we should be able to put that on the speed three and then just drop him in and see what happens. So let's see. So he is either going to get hit by a blade or it's going to go right through it, which I think is what uh, actually happened is he'll go right through it. But let's find out. Oh, he hit that blade. He just hit it. He just he just dodged the blades. I'm pretty sure that ain't allowed, dude. You got to hit the blades. That's cheating. Now right, you better hit the blade this time. There we go. Wait, what? No, it's not. He missed again. How are you dodging this every time? This is ridiculous. You shouldn't be able to dodge it this well. There, that time it hit him and it kind of didn't do much, did it? Oh my god, he's like a zombie. He's grabbing out of the helicopter like, I need your brains. Can you imagine seeing that? Like you're in the helicopter and it's just this scary looking dude holding on like, let me in. That'd be freaky. I will try it like this. Helicopter blades moving faster, but it's also moving upwards. Let's see what happens. Hit the guy. Hit the guy. That's going to definitely hit. Whoa, whoa, camera. So, yeah, it just kind of... Yeah, you see what it did. It kind of just glitches, you know? So, well, whatever. I do have another idea, actually. What if we did a... Um, high gravity, and then that was stationary. So, like... Pluto, maybe not Pluto. Um, Venus, what? Is that? No, I, I can't remember the, the Jupiter. Maybe you could put it to speed eight without it lifting up. Yeah, you see, it kind of just—it's uh, weird. It kind of crap. It, it kind of kills him, sort of. Then he gets his legs stuck in the helicopter. That's the killing part. We should try to fly him off of that. We should try to fly the helicopter with him stuck there. I'm a helicopter. You can't tell me what to do. I'm a helicopter. Get off. Get off. Who do you think you is? That's right. You will get off of me. Now let's try to land this thing without crashing. I thought this video was about the dummies, YBR. Yes, but I want to land my helicopter. Is that such a weird thing to want to do? God. Could have been better, but hey, nobody got dies from that one. Everybody gets lives. So that's what happens when you try to put the dummy through the blades of a helicopter. Like I said, didn't, hopefully you didn't get your hopes up because, well, yeah, it was uh, under dramatic. I'll say that it was not as cool as you know it was to be. It was as you probably expect. It was just okay. That's what happens. We could get a oh we can't get a box. The box is broke. I'm just thinking, what else can we do? Um uh, have we ever put them through the crusher? Yes we have. Yeah, we've done that. I guess that's really it for this video. Uh that's all the ideas that I had left really for the dummy, at least I had written down. If you have anything else you want to see with him, feel free to request it and maybe there'll be another video for him. 
But until next time, he's done. He needs a break, man. Poor guy. So until next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.